Young, lead singer of Lone Star, joined Restless Hearts' Larry Stewart, Shenandoah's Marty Raven, and Grand Ole Opry member John Conley at the invitation of WYNK radio DJ and voice of Scooby-Doo, Scott Ennis, for a night of hits and home runs. When Scott Ennis calls you, it's usually for a good cause. And, um, I mean, the guy has such a big heart. Scott, half of the Hollywood Howl and Rhinestone Owl children's TV show, along with his sidekick, Jim Hogg, organized the star-studded event with one purpose, raise enough money to build a baseball field in Baton Rouge for physically challenged kids. And a lot of kids, unfortunately, have to watch from the sidelines. Yeah. And what a great concept to put handicapped children onto the same playing field as equal as us. I just kind of feel like it's, it's worth my time to come down and do what I can, you know, to help them. Also a VIP at the event, Louisiana Attorney General Buddy Caldwell. As a former athlete and baseball coach, Caldwell knows the importance of giving kids the opportunity to be involved in sports. In the big places where crime is down, they got a ball field every mile. I've never seen a kid who'd rather steal an automobile than second base. The night of entertainment raised money for this baseball field now under construction. The entire field will be rubberized so that it will welcome wheelchairs and walking braces. Jimmy Jameson of the group Survivor knocked one out of the park with Eye of the Tiger. But the biggest hit of the night was when Scott and Jim gave Brandy Polito of the Miracle League at Cypress Mounds her front page photo from City Social Magazine and told her that the night raised more than $100,000. A pretty amazing accomplishment for two cartoon characters, Hollywood Hal and Rhinestone Al. Teaching children love, manners, and safety. And what a better way to, to do this than to give back. And that's what we want to do with these characters. And let's build this park just for these kids so they don't have to dream. It's and gonna give back is what they did. As one day soon, wheelchair-bound children will be able to run the bases and score a big home run in the game of life. There's nothing it can't do, so take the feet.